Want something of no value? Mm-hmm. We're going to watch something of little value. Of it's, no value. It's called Test Your Might. No. It's called Nico. Okay, at the same guy. time, like, none of us have animated fucking openers of cartoons of ourselves. But you I can't know, stroke my chin thusly either. Like it's it's hard to do things in your underwear like I do. More more. That hair on his chin looks like the hair on my scrotum. I'm, of course, talking about LJN. And I've just about had it with the continuous crapping on their games. And I want to be here to defend some of the games that keep getting hate on. Ah, he, al he almost got that right. <laughs> no, he didn't. He really, really was not close. Oh, look at him as his cheating man too in the background. I can see it there. Because I am optimistic as hell, and I am not going to take it anymore. What's with that black shirt? He looks like he looks like fashion style. Fuck that, man. So looks like he's a bus boy at Olive Garden. One of the first LJN games I played. This baby. But first, you know there's just a pillow back there. If you listen to it close enough, we you can tell it hits know something very solid. Right. Yeah. I don't want to watch that The mission. The first film it has this underlying feeling that sequels to it will not be as great. But Terminator 2 was one that was just as great, if not better. That actually was a good Bob Hoskins body. Great acting, memorable the graphics in this NES game are amazing. Glorious soundtrack. LGN is fantastic. So naturally, in the midst of the I, early I 90s, and with the success of the film, video games had to be made. I thought I should have struck those retro games. It was a well-known arcade game, and then came home console versions. And out of the many versions released for various platforms, one sticks out to most people, and that is the NES version of Terminator 2. And uh, it's no. the most well-known company well, that okay. got their hands on it, or LJN, the American toy company, <laughs> and it's most well-known <laughs> <well -known laughs> video game publishing. <laughs> People like James Rolfe's AVGN character, he has exposed no the legacy of their video game who involvement and giving them a bad name. Anger is a the game nerd. I'm, I'm girl, yeah, of course, God it is his nerd. show, and he has probably even helped to turn recognition to their games. But I feel there's just a lot of unnecessary hate for LJN games. And no, they just haven't been given enough. a fair chance. But that's where I come in, because I'm here no. to play the game. <laughs> Not to be like somebody LJN else or anything too. like that. <laughs> that was so fake. Well, let's get started, shall we? A lot we? of people feel it necessary to plug Matt's videos. So here we go, Terminator <laughs> 2. <laughs> Release the oh, By the way, know, please check out the I'm really, I'm, I'm, really kind of I'm kind of with you, I'm on the fence also about that. Whole I was really, was really even apprehensive game. about as it appears, putting Matt in the, the pretty close uh, to video video of the fact that it's a movie. It feels like you're exploiting Matt's Well, not only that, I just, I don't want to, and this is nothing against any of you all, but I just don't want to know that I get like 20 or 40 subscribers just because people watch Matt. I'd rather earn a certain amount on my own before I start, you know, lending myself out to doing crossovers so I get views and stuff. It's humorous to note that one of the most... Because I'm not... You know, that sounds stupid, but I'm pretty happy the fact that I've got 60 uh, subscribers uh, within the first, like, eight months, and I haven't really done any self-promotion to other so you channels. Make your way other people who mention me your first boss fight will take place. And I played this boxes, fucking this guy, this guy and he's such a shit. He is. I'll bet to say, like, I got a number earlier today. I was talking about this game. I was like, I never got past the game. You know, know that just reminds me. No, I totally dig into this part. Yeah. Why is he playing that? You know, that, that fuck reminds me of the guy from uh, John Carpenter's uh, Ghost of Mars. Remember that? Remember the young guy? And here's this, and I got I got to be honest here. Like, he's right about this. It's not nearly as hard as people say. No, no, no. It definitely is. to avoid being run down by. I mean, it's stupid, but it's not that hard. While shooting gates in front of you to pass through, it sort of has a wind tunnel feel from Battletoads, being relatively fast no, and having high difficulty, but really, so much it's better. not that tough. The level lasts for a mere minute if you always shoot the truck and shoot in front of you when you're close to the gate. The boxes take mere health off of you, and running into a car or water just rears you off to the side, having little to Ooh, worry about movement that. other than slightly realigning yourself in the middle to make it through the gate. Succeed in that, and you rescue John Connor. Ah! I'd rather not. Day three, time for the hospital. And all you have to do is acquire cards in specific rooms to make your way to the top floor to rescue Sarah Connor. It's a very so unique stage, and taking the line from the movie when John tells the Terminator to not kill anyone. This is what he was allowing you to hold down on the controller and you shoot You remember when the Terminator games. was president and for those four years in the 90s? Which only accounts for <laughs> bonus points at the end of the level. 
It's a pretty fun stage, especially as the T-1000 materializes through the floor and walls, trying well, to push down. That is not exactly my fun, but okay. Stop or I'll beat you with a Q-tip. Your heads come immediately. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a good music. It goes too long, it's a problem. So collect the cards, avoid baddies, and rescue this, Sarah. Like, this is the second stage. Yeah. Stage yeah. 4 yeah. takes place yeah. in Cyberdyne. Yeah. Yeah. It follows yeah. the yeah. same yeah. basic yeah. principle yeah. as the last level. That's but then you have to collect yeah. 10 barrels, which look like giant pickles, to the no, top level. I don't know, uh, but of course, you can only carry three at a time. So you must collect three, pickles. deposit them, then risk them repeatedly. My problem with him talking about this game, or people saying it is a good game or not a bad game, I just don't think it's much of a game when you consider what other games came out on the NES. This could have been done a lot better. It's not it's horrible, not but it's not. It's not a bad. It's, it's, it's just not, not fun. I, I, paying 50 bucks for it doesn't work. Wait, wait there, something odd's going on there. Yeah, this is where he shows how bad he is at this game, basically. Oh, and he's doing an Ezra impression. And now I think he's just anguishing for Albuquerque. He's a college student, isn't he? I mean, technically. Isn't he actually uploaded this whole thing? I don't even know. I don't even know where to be. You know he went 87 miles an hour? <laughs> oh, there it is. So luckily, if you don't get stuck with that, okay, you then but the timing of the last part is perfect. Them all like, that the goes on, the but then it's like, oh, there it is. Make your That's save good. out of the building. Yeah. Stage five. Finally, Dude, I didn't know this is uh, a certain person goes retro pauses until test, now. Much like the last stage of Journey to Cilius. This stage gets you know, probably game. the most criticized due <laughs> to its platform. I always thought it was weird to put Journey to Cilius. Now I have to admit, jumps like this. Oh, don't this jump in the orange juice. Are very difficult and require good timing and precision to pull off. I tip my hat to anyone who made it this far. <laughs> Coming from the man who can't make Wolverine this jump. This is some of the most hollow gripping and butt cheek crunchy <laughs> jumps in the game. You were black magic. Like you already did, you already yeah. game over and had to use one continue. That's all you get. So if you make it this far and lose all your lives the second time, it's game over. It's kind of like it's on the NES. After possibly losing your wits on platforming, you get to face against the team without actually losing your senses and faculties. Are you to death? No. Just jumping on him like in the beginning of the game until he reaches the lava stream, and that's it. Wow, that's Be sure not to touch the lava. It looks like Bill from Bill and Ted. As you make your way over to John and Sarah's, the last scene from the movie is reenacted. I could have survived. Darn good game, albeit minus the barrel fiasco and clapping albeit the But this is a free Albeit game. the part where you press game. start and everything ever after the happens. The graphics and images of the characters from 1982 are very well detailed. And there's a very smooth animation. Especially on the skill stage. Controls are tight and responsive. The story and source material is pretty Come spot on. And of course, oh my god, the music. Like his brother in Target Renegade, the person responsible for this score is Jeff Fallen. Who composes one of the most wonderfully unique soundtracks? He is lit. As I'm sure you have heard the video. <laughs> that part of the fortune truly no pictures, the but there's plenty of supposed pictures on the internet. Leave it to a fall and to make such wonderful music. As most LGN titles, the soundtrack is to be the most acclaimed and best part of the game. And to hell to those who complain the Terminator theme isn't in the game. This game no, to, to hell with you on that one. I'm Terminator sorry, I right. totally disagree. The music's fine. So in the end, it's it's still so bad. Bad. Sober, Dragons, and LGA game? No. I can see why people would have been disappointed with it back in the day. And besides its short length in 1992, it is still a good and fun game to come back to and play. It seems these movie licensed games have high Says the guy game. born in 1994. Sure, you should expect more <laughs> But when you look at a game like Batman, which follows the source material. And then realized well. that was a better game. That's about it. And everything else had nothing to do with Batman. But rarely anyone has ever complained about it. You know why? I love the part where they actually released a uh, action figure. Yeah, yeah that's. So does this game. Nika. Nika's been doing that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, if you've been holding yourself back on returning to this and game, you know I have it. Do yourself a favor and play the game. <laughs> I need to tell him to clean up this damn fucking pictures. <laughs> I mean, look at our 